discover a world where architecture defies gravity. From structures hanging off cliffs to houses suspended in midair, join me in counting down the top 15 most precariously located buildings on Earth. Starting with number 15, the Swallow's Nest Castle. The Swallow's Nest Castle, located in the Crimean Peninsula in southern Ukraine, is perched on the edge of a cliff overlooking the Black Sea. Its location makes it a striking and somewhat precarious structure, contributing to its unique historical and architectural significance. Built in 1911, it's situated near the town of Gaspra on the Aurora Cliff of the Aitador Cape. This castle sits 40 meters above sea level, providing commanding views of the Black Sea. The site's challenging terrain made construction of this thing an engineering feat of its time, with the building seemingly hanging over the edge of the cliff. Originally designed as a decorative castle, it's got an eclectic architectural style, combining elements of neo-gothic and art nouveau. This compact structure features slender turrets, pointed arches, and ornate balconies, showcasing a blend of romantic and fanciful design. Historically, the Swallow's Nest has undergone several transformations. It served as a symbol of the region's wealth and affluence during the Russian Empire, and over the years it's been repurposed as a restaurant and a tourist attraction, drawing visitors with its panoramic views. Despite its seemingly precarious location, the Swallow's Nest has withstood the test of time and weathered various challenges. The castle's foundation and structural integrity have been reinforced to ensure its stability. Number 14. Zhang Biqing's Rooftop Home Zhang Biqing, a Chinese businessman, gained notoriety for constructing a villa atop a 26-story building in Beijing. This villa, resembling a traditional Chinese landscape, was built without proper permits. The rooftop structure featuring rocks, trees, and a waterfall stirred controversy and admiration for its design. Built illegally, the villa raised concerns about adherence to the building regulations. Zhang faced legal consequences and was eventually ordered to demolish the rooftop structure. This incident highlighted the challenges of unchecked urban development in China. It was constructed without engineering approval, and it posed safety risks. The rooftop garden, though visually striking, was an unauthorized addition that compromised the structural integrity of the building. This case underscored the need for stringent oversight. The villa became a symbol of the tension between individual property rights and the necessity for adherence to planning regulations. In 2013, the Beijing authorities compelled Zhang to dismantle the rooftop villa, and the saga of this precarious home serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the importance of regulatory compliance. This unique yet unauthorized villa left a lasting mark on Beijing skyline, not for its permanence, but as a reminder of the consequences of circumventing building regulations. Number 13. Popa Tong Kalat Established and maintained by a hermit in the early 20th century, the Mount Popa Shrine and Monastery precariously sit 2,500 feet above the ground on a massive volcanic formation in central Myanmar. Climbing 777 steps from the base of the vertical pedestal takes you to a monastery, honoring what has become known as the center of Nat spirit activity in the nation. In Buddhist traditions of Myanmar, knots are spirits of humans that met tragic ends and are portrayed accordingly in shrines across the country. One of the most well-known of those 37 spirits in the shrine of Mount Popa is Goki Kwa, who died from his wild lifestyle and alcohol abuse. As the patron saint of tramps and alcoholics, his shrine is often covered in bottles of whiskey. Due to the activity and shrine on Mount Popa, the area is known as the Mount Olympus of Myanmar. The shrine subsequently draws thousands of pilgrims every year, especially during full moon ceremonies, at least two times a year. Non-religious visitors can enjoy panoramic views of the mountains, as well as of the monkeys that live and beg for food around the monastery. An estimated 2,000 rhesus macaques live in the monastery today, and because of this, monkey poop is a prevalent thing on the monastery steps, which pilgrims and visitors are supposed to climb barefoot. Consequently, a high number of people making their living cleaning up after the monkeys in exchange for a donation. This fact has generated mixed feedback from visitors to Mount Popa. Number 12. El Peñón de Guatape El Peñón de Guatape, also known as Piedra del Peñol, is a colossal granite rock formation located near the town of Guatape in Colombia. Rising abruptly from the otherwise flat terrain, this imposing monolith stands over 650 feet tall, and it's got a fascinating history tied to both indigenous cultures and modern tourism. Now, historically, this place held significance for the Tahamese Indians, who revered it in ancient times. However, as the mid-1900s arrived, local farmers perceived the massive 10 million ton rock as an obstacle, resembling the smaller rocks routinely cleared from their fields. 
In 1954, a group of friends, reportedly prompted by a local priest, embarked on a daring climb using makeshift boards wedged into a crack. This pioneering ascent took five days, revealing breathtaking vistas and even leading to the discovery of a new plant species. This climb marked the beginning of the rock's transformation from an inconvenience to a modern tourist attraction. The sheer precariousness of El Penon de Guatape's location adds to its allure. This rock's ascent was initially an uncharted challenge, and today, the 649-step masonry staircase wedged into its single long crack is the only authorized way to reach the summit. It's designated as a national monument by Colombia and purportedly owned by a local family. It's become a popular destination for those seeking both adventure and panoramic views. Climbing this massive rock not only offers a glimpse into its historic significance, but also provides a tangible connection to the daring feats of those who first scaled its formidable heights. Number 11. Uluwatu Temple Perched dramatically and, of course, precariously on the southwestern tip of the Bukit Peninsula in Bali, Indonesia, the Uluwatu Temple stands as a testament to ancient Balinese architecture and the breathtaking beauty of its coastal location. The temple is perched on a steep cliff, offering panoramic views of the Indian Ocean. It sits on the edge of a limestone cliff about 70 meters above the waves. The Uluwatu Temple provides a visual spectacle that elicits a mix of admiration and caution. One false move near the cliffs could result in a perilous fall, yet remarkably, no recorded accidents have happened at this stunning site. The Uluwatu Temple, known locally as Pura Luhur Uluwatu, has a rich history dating back to the 11th century. Built under the rule of the great sage Mpu Kuturan, the temple is dedicated to Songhyang Widiwasa, the supreme god of Indonesian Hinduism. The temple's location is not only strategically chosen for those views, but it's also believed to be a spiritual anchor to ward off evil spirits that might approach. The temple complex, with its traditional Balinese architectural elements, features intricately carved stone gates, mesmerizing sculptures, and a kakak dance performance that showcases the unique culture of Bali. The Uluwatu Temple is one of the six key temples believed to be Bali spiritual pillars, each strategically located to form a protective ring around the island. One of the distinctive features of the temple is the presence of a lively community of long-tailed macaque monkeys. These mischievous little inhabitants have become an integral part to the temple's allure. While they may be entertaining to visitors, the monkeys are known for their opportunistic behavior, often snatching belongings from unsuspecting tourists. Visitors are advised to exercise caution and avoid displaying food or valuables within the monkey's reach. Number 10. Strombolicio Lighthouse The Strombolicio Lighthouse, a captivating and isolated structure, stands on a rocky islet just off the northern coast of the island of Stromboli in the Tyrrhenian Sea. This lighthouse, often referred to as a sea needle, has a rich history and unique characteristics that distinguish it in the maritime landscape. Constructed in 1926, the lighthouse has a significant role in guiding ships through the perilous waters that surround the volcano. The islet upon which it stands is a volcanic formation, a remnant of an ancient eruption. Its location aids navigation, serving as a crucial point of reference for vessels navigating the Tyrrhenian Sea. The lighthouse is operated by the Italian Coast Guard and it's fully automated, eliminating the need for a permanent on-site keeper. This automation ensures that the light continues to function efficiently, contributing to safety of maritime traffic. The light's visible from a distance of up to 23 nautical miles and it serves as a warning and a guide to sailors. Its isolated location on a barren rock presents a unique challenge for its maintenance and operation. The inhospitable environment and rough seas surrounding the islet make these maintenance operations both challenging and essential to the lighthouse's function. Despite its small size, measuring just over 40 meters in height, the lighthouse commands attention due to its solitary presence on the rocky outcrop. The islet itself is a popular spot for diving enthusiasts, offering an opportunity to explore underwater volcanic formations. Additionally, the lighthouse has been featured in various films and documentaries, contributing to its recognition far beyond its maritime function. Number 9. Tekandama Falls Museum The Tekandama Falls Museum is situated near Bogota, Colombia, sitting snug on the edge of the Tekandama Gorge, providing a panoramic view of the falls and the Andes Mountains, and it's a long tumble down if you're not careful. Constructed in 1923, the building served as the Tecandama Falls Hotel, a luxury retreat for Colombia's elite. Over time, the hotel fell into disrepair and its closure in the 1990s was prompted by concerns about pollution in the Bogota River. The abandoned hotel was subsequently repurposed into the Falls Museum, breathing new life into the historic structure. 
the architecture of the original, designed in a French neo-Gothic style, contributes to the allure of the museum. Its structure, characterized by arches and intricate detailing, resonates with its historic past. The museum plays a dual role, combining cultural and national heritage. Visitors can explore exhibits that showcase artifacts and artworks, providing insights into Colombia's history and indigenous cultures. Simultaneously, the museum emphasizes environmental education, particularly in the context of the falls in the Bogota River. Exhibits highlight biodiversity, conservation efforts, and the significance of addressing environmental challenges. The breathtaking views of the Tecandama Falls and the surrounding landscape add an extra layer of significance to these exhibits and educational programs. The juxtaposition of history, culture, and nature in such a precarious location contributes to that identity. Efforts in a river cleanup further tie back to the precarious location as the museum actively engages in addressing pollution concerns in the Bogota River. Number 8. The Khyber Ridge House Perched on the slopes of New Zealand's Khyber Pass, the Khyber Ridge House embodies the essence of living on the edge, quite literally. The term precarious location takes on a nuanced meaning in the context of this marvel, signifying not only the breathtaking beauty of the site, but also the inherent challenges and risks associated with building in such a steep and unstable environment. The term precarious is an understatement when it comes to the Khyber Ridge House's location. The challenging topography of the site adds a layer of difficulty to the construction, requiring meticulous planning. The steep slope, coupled with the potential for soil erosion, demands innovative engineering solutions. This extends beyond the construction phase to the very experience of living in the house. Residents have to navigate a landscape characterized by steep gradients and a constant awareness of the incline. The panoramic views, while stunning, also underscore the vulnerability of the house's position. Environmental considerations do play a crucial role in the precariousness of this location, and the architects had to address those challenges posed by erosion and rainfall runoff. Despite all those challenges, though, the Khyber Ridge House transforms its location into a unique advantage. The architects leveraged the steep topography to create a dwelling that not only integrates with the landscape, but also offers unparalleled views and a sense of living in harmony with the surrounding environment. Moving on to number 7. The Balancing Barn Perched on the edge of a picturesque Suffolk hillside, the Balancing Barn is a marvel of architectural ingenuity that transforms a seemingly precarious location into a captivating work of art. The key to the Balancing Barn's gravity-defying illusion lies in its unique cantilevered design. A significant portion of the building extends beyond the edge of the hill, seemingly unsupported. The architects achieved this daring feat through engineering, carefully calculated the distribution of weight, and ensuring that the structure's center of mass remains within the supported footprint. This architectural technique creates the illusion that a substantial portion of the barn is suspended in midair, defying the gravitational pull that governs our everyday experiences. Staying in the balancing barn involves a constant interaction with the landscape's nature. The architecture blurs the boundaries between the indoors and outdoors, inviting residents to experience the ever-changing panorama. Environmental considerations are integral to the location. The architects had to navigate the challenges of building on a slope, addressing the issues such as soil erosion and drainage. The use of sustainable materials and eco-friendly construction practices became essential, not only to minimize the environmental impact, but also to harmonize with the delicate balance of the natural surroundings. This balancing barn transforms this location into a visual spectacle. Those architects turn the challenges of the terrain into an opportunity to create a dwelling that's not only structurally sound, but also artistically daring. The building becomes a statement about the delicate equilibrium between the man-made and the natural where the house becomes part of the landscape rather than a mere structure atop it. Number 6. Nugget Point Lighthouse Nugget Point is part of the Catlins region, known for its untouched natural beauty and diverse wildlife. The lighthouse, built in 1869, serves as both a navigational aid, of course, for seafarers and a testament to New Zealand's maritime heritage. The name Nugget Point is derived from the distinctively spherical rocks known as nuggets that dot the coastal waters surrounding the promontory. The lighthouse, a whitewashed structure with a red roof, stands at a height of 30 feet, and it's a Category 1 historic place, recognized for its architecture and historical significance. The original oil lamps were replaced by electric lamps in 1949, and further modernization efforts have kept the light shining brightly to guide vessels navigating those waters near the point. 
Maintaining the lighthouse and its surrounding structures involves ongoing efforts by the Department of Conservation in New Zealand. The rugged coastal environment does pose unique challenges for upkeep, with exposure to salt spray, high winds, and the erosive forces of the Southern Ocean. Getting to Nugget Point is an adventure in itself. While the lighthouse is a popular destination, reaching it requires a trek along a well-maintained walking track. The journey offers a scenic stroll through native bush, rewarding visitors with breathtaking views of the coastline and, if you're lucky, sightings of local wildlife such as fur seals and seabirds. The track is approximately a 20-minute walk, making it accessible to most visitors, and the effort's well rewarded by the panoramic vistas from the light. Its isolation does add to that allure. While it's not the most remote place in the world, the journey to this coastal gem involves navigating through the rugged and pristine landscapes of the Catlins. The sense of seclusion and the vast expanses of the Southern Ocean contribute to that feeling of being far and away from the hustle and bustle of the modern world. Number five, the Hanging Houses of Cuenca. Hanging dramatically on the edge of cliffs overlooking the Huecar Gorge in Cuenca, Spain, the Hanging Houses, or Casas Colgadas, are breathtaking architectural marvels that defy both gravity and conventional notions of urban living. These gravity-defying structures cling to the cliffs, suspended high above the river below, creating an awe-inspiring panorama that's captivated visitors. These hanging houses date back to the 15th century, and their history is intertwined with the medieval city of Cuenca. It was originally constructed as part of a network of houses and bridges. Now, these structures serve both residential and defensive purposes. They're built with wooden balconies that extend precariously over the edge, creating a visual display and reflecting the architectural ingenuity of their time. The location of the Hanging Houses is as wild as it is picturesque. It's nestled within the historic city of Cuenca, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The houses are perched on the cliffs, providing residents and visitors with panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. The Huecar Gorge adds a dramatic backdrop to the houses, enhancing their visual impact. Now, while these hanging houses were originally inhabited by noble families, today some have been repurposed as museums and restaurants, allowing visitors to experience both the historical and contemporary significance of these structures. The question of safety naturally arises when considering houses hanging from cliffs. However, the hanging houses of Cuenca have stood the test of time, enduring centuries of weathering and seismic activity. The construction showcases craftsmanship of medieval builders who carefully selected sturdy materials and employed robust engineering technique to ensure the stability of them. These houses aren't just an architectural wonder, but they're also testaments to the resilience and durability of their designers. Modern interventions, including restoration and maintenance efforts, have further reinforced the safety of these hanging houses. The wood balconies, which are iconic elements of the houses, have been meticulously preserved or replaced as needed. Visitors can now explore these structures confidently, knowing that careful measures have been taken to maintain their integrity. Number 4. The Clingstone House Built on the crags of Narragansett Bay in Rhode Island, the Clingstone House is a unique little home where the residents really love the thrill of living on the edge. This iconic structure, also known as the House on a Rock, sits atop a small, rocky island and offers a unique blend of seclusion, panoramic views, and a captivating sense of living on the very edge of the sea. Constructed in 1905 as a private residence for the wealthy Bourne family, the Clingstone House is a three-story, 23-room mansion with a design that maximizes its exposure to the surrounding coastal vistas. Its location on Dumplings Island in Narragansett Bay allows residents and guests to enjoy breathtaking views of the bay, Newport, and the Atlantic Ocean. The placement of the Clingstone House on the rocky island adds an element of adventure and isolation. It's accessible only by boat. This house provides a sense of seclusion, offering a retreat from the mainland. The architecture itself is a marvel, with the house seemingly clinging to the rocks, creating this illusion of being suspended between the sea and the sky. Ownership of the house has passed through several hands over the years, each custodian contributing to its preservation and its maintenance. This location and design of the house have made it an iconic structure, gaining recognition beyond its private origins. While it has maintained its exclusivity as a private residence, the Clingstone House has been featured in books and documentaries and even served as the backdrop for photos. Safety considerations for the house are paramount due to its exposure to the elements and the challenging access. The structure has undergone renovations and updates to ensure its stability, and its unique design has withstood the test of time, enduring coastal weather conditions and the passage of over a century. Speaking of passage, the Clingstone House has stayed with the Bourne family, being passed down by generations. So while tourists can come to visit, it's the Bournes who hold the keys. 
Number 3. St. Michel of the Needle Chapel Built right into a volcanic plug in the town of Le puy en velay France, the St. Michel of the Needle Chapel is a captivating building that rises nearly 270 feet above the town, providing a stunning testament to the intersection of medieval architecture and the natural landscape. The unique structure stands proudly on a rocky pinnacle known as Rocher Cognier, creating a breathtaking silhouette against the French sky. This precarious location is one of its most defining features. A volcanic plug is a rocky formation that results from the solidification of magma within a vent of an active volcano. In the case of this chapel, this wonder serves as the foundation for it, with the rock rising abruptly from the surrounding terrain. The craziness of its location becomes apparent as one ascends the 268 steps leading to the chapel. Pilgrims and visitors must navigate this winding path, experiencing a gradual ascent. The elevation and commanding views from the chapel contribute to that almost surreal atmosphere of this elevated sanctuary. It was constructed in 962 AD, and it holds a storied history that's deeply intertwined with religious devotion and pilgrimage. A bishop, inspired by his own pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela, envisioned a chapel that would mirror the spiritual significance of his journey. The result was the construction of the Saint Michel of the Needle Chapel, a Romanesque masterpiece that seamlessly integrates with the natural contours of the rock. A pilgrimage here is a long-standing tradition, particularly as it serves as a starting point for the Way of St. James, one of the most renowned pilgrimage routes in Christian world. Pilgrims journey from various parts of France and beyond, converging at Saint Michel before embarking on their spiritual pilgrimage along the historic Way of St. James. The experience is heightened by the chapel's elevated location. The feast day of Saint Michel on September 29th is a significant occasion, marked by religious celebrations and cultural events that draw both pilgrims and locals alike to ascend the hill. Number 2. The Vozoko Apartments the Vozoko Apartments, situated in Amsterdam in the Netherlands, were designed by the renowned Dutch architect Rem Koolhaas and his firm Office for Metropolitan Architecture. Completed in 1997, this residential complex represents a departure from conventional design principles. Comprised of interconnected cubic structures, Vozoko's defining feature is its cantilevered design. Now, these cubes appear to defy gravity as they project outward from the building, giving it a distinctive, visually striking aesthetic. The construction involved careful engineering to achieve that cantilevered effect while maintaining structural stability. This calculated engineering feat combined with modern construction materials contributes to the gravity-defying illusion. Specs-wise, it consists of 100 apartments, primarily designed to meet the housing needs of the elderly. The cantilever design allows for shared gardens and communal spaces throughout the structure, fostering a sense of community among the residents. In terms of safety, it's undergone rigorous engineering and construction processes to ensure its stability. The cantilevered sections are carefully calculated to prevent any risk of structural failure. The apartment's orientations maximize natural light, and large windows offer panoramic views of the surrounding area. The design integrates sustainability features, including green roofs enhancing energy efficiency, and it aligns with contemporary environmental considerations, too. Vozoko may not exist in a precarious location, but there's no doubt that its very existence is a precarious one. Number 1. Casa Brutale Casa Brutale, it's a conceptual architectural masterpiece that captures the essence of minimalist design, blending seamlessly with its natural surroundings. Conceived by the architectural firm Open Platform for Architecture, Casa Brutale is an ambitious residential project that integrates with the rugged coastal landscape. Located on a cliffside overlooking the Aegean Sea, the proposed Casa Brutale is a stark departure from traditional designs. The defining feature is its integration with the natural topography. The house is essentially embedded within the cliff, with only a glass-bottom swimming pool serving as a transparent roof for the living spaces below. This design choice creates a stunning visual effect as the pool becomes a skylight, allowing natural light to filter through and illuminate the interior. The materials chosen for Casa Brutale contribute to its name, with brutale meaning brutal in Italian, reflecting a raw and unapologetic aesthetic. The construction materials include concrete, glass, and wood, embracing a brutalist architectural style that emphasizes simplicity and functionality. Its interior layout is characterized by an open-plan design, emphasizing transparency and a seamless connection to the outdoors. The living spaces, including bedrooms and common areas, are strategically positioned to offer unobstructed views of the sea, creating an immersive experience for the occupants. 
This Casa Brutale is just a concept, but like so many other things, the internet has demanded it be built. And if and when that happens, it's going to exist a stunning 1,600 meters in the air. And looking at those concept pictures, there's one other factor that doesn't get the attention it deserves. The house is in the middle of nowhere, meaning no neighbors and supreme solitude as far as the eye can see. Just don't look down. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.